We're home, Snookums. Come on, Pete, you gotta get up. We're home. Pete, this is one day you don't wanna end up in the brig. Uh, that's right. Come on. Uh. Poor Husky sure got it bad again. Poor Pete, you mean. I wonder why the dwarf Husky ever gets married and leaves the Navy. He won't last that long without Husky around to do his dirty work. Pete, wake up. Come on. Pete, get up. Come on, you slob. Rise and shine. Hit the deck. Why don't you stop mothering this egg? Why, you? Looking for trouble, say yeah. Leave him be, Hardy. It's lucky for you I'm wearing this. All right, lash him up. Come on, shake the lid. Thanks, Husky, old pal. I knew he lost my temper that time. Now, if you had it, I'd have busted him in the nose. Hey, Pete. Yeah? Help me fix my wings. All right, Angel. Ain't that guy learned how to swim yet? Nah, he's just a little baby. Oh. Boys, I hope you've all had a nice time on this cruise. Because now you lazy lovers are gonna get down to work. The ship's gotta look like something for this inspection. And if any of you are expecting shore leave, you better snap into it. The bright work on the bridge. Ship and paint for you two. First turret. Second turret. The swab for you. Let me see, little Lord Fauntleroy. What nice, easy job can I find for you? Let me think. I've got it. You're going to go up there and paint the spot on the top of that pretty little smokestack. Oh, I have a heart. That comes straight from the heart, shipmate. Now turn to, all of you. Come on. Hear that, Husky? Paint the stack. Gosh, just when one of my dizzy spells is coming on, too. Yeah, it's a dirty trick. Oh, that's all right. I'm getting used to that guy giving me the works. Gosh, I might fall down and get killed. Then I'll have peace. Pete, you're in no shape to go up there. Orders is orders. There's not to reason why there's but to do and die. The noble 600. Goodbye, pal. Hey, Pete, let me go up there for no, you. Oh, no, I couldn't let you do that, Husky. They won't know the difference. I wouldn't think of it. But I gotta go, No, please, no. Let me go, please. Well, if you insist. Oh, oh right. gosh, I'd never forgive myself if you got killed, Husky. Wouldn't you, honest? Ah, but there's nothing to worry about with me handling the line, is it? Old Rusty <laughs> Pete. Let me off the 15th floor. Press the button and little Pete will do the rest. Okay. All out. Raise hosiery, corset, step in, brick a bat.
<laughs> Pete wants to be an aviator. <laughs> in charge of these men? Yes, sir. That man that's doing all the painting? Yes, sir. Have him report to me. Aye, aye, sir. Not now. There's plenty of time. Let him finish his work. Aye, aye, sir. Before Hardy sees it, he won't catch it. All finished, and if I do say so myself, a paint job to be proud of. Yes, sir. A fine paint job. You might even get a medal for it. Maybe that's why the captain wants to see. See me? Yeah. Or maybe it's because you hit him in the face with a bucket of paint. Report to him. Oh, that was an awful smear you made out of the captain. Was it? Oh, you're liable to get years in the brig for that. Oh, don't think it's so hard. You've been in the brig before. Well, ain't that as husky. I can't lose sight of him. Why not? Well, you think I won't let him go ashore alone? Boy, he'd marry that girl the minute my back's turned. Hmm, you better do some fast thinking then, sailor. Oh. Husky! Congratulations! What for? On the way you painted the stack. You've done such a swell job, the captain wants to see you. Honestly? Yeah, and it may mean a promotion. Oh, but I shouldn't take a promotion. I'm getting out of the Navy. You take it. No, sir. You did it, and you're going to get the credit. Oh, that's just like you, Pete. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. I want to see you to get everything that's coming to you. Oh, golly. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Friday. Today's Friday, fish day. What are you going to use for bait? Nothing but my personality, sonny boy. I'm going to relax now that Husky is safe in the brig. <laughs> That's one place no woman can get to him. Hey, what's the idea of always breaking up his romances? I know him. He's a lion on a battleship and a mouse in the boudoir. <laughs> <laughs> but this may be true love. True love, my eye. He wants to marry every skirt he meets. Who is it this time? Uh, that seems to be one secret he wants to keep to himself. But if I ever meet that gal, <laughs> I'll tell her something, but quick. <laughs> Husky's not so dumb after all, eh? <laughs> hey, what do you mean? I got enough dames to keep me going till 1960. You know, we've been studying aviation for a long time. One of these days, I'm going to be a pilot. And Husky's going to be my mechanic. <laughs> it seems you can't leave the Navy now. Hey, Pete! Husky wants to see him in the brig. Captain's a matter of life and death. 
He ain't sick, is he? Yeah, love sick. You better hurry up before he hangs himself. Yeah, I guess. Whoa. Husky. How are you? Gee, I'm sorry I got you into this. Oh, I guess you couldn't help it. Is there anything I can do for you? No, thanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do me a favor. Oh, anything you say, Husky. No, I'd be willing to cut my right arm off for you. What is it, pal? Would you, would you get me a three-cent stamp? What for? Well, I'm writing my girl a letter, and I gotta tell her that I won't be able to see her today. Why, a letter won't get to her in time. Listen, I'm going to show her. I'd be glad to give it to her personally. Oh, I, oh, no, I think you better send her a telegram. Just send her a telegram and say that I'll see her just as soon as I get out of here. Oh, you just leave it to me. I'll fix everything. Oh, uh, is there anything else? Yeah. You can tell her I love her. Oh, sure. Oh, gosh. I can't go ashore after all. Oh, why not? I'm flat. Oh, is that all? How much do you need? Oh, five or ten bucks. Well, here. Thanks. Now, Pete, please don't forget about sending that telegram. My whole future may depend on it. Sure, I know. What's the address? It's 334 Harper Avenue. 334 Harper Avenue. I got it, pal. Merry sunshine, ladies, beaming out at you from station PIP and bringing you the 64th lesson on how to keep your girlish form and figure. And, uh, <laughs> incidentally, your husband twicks the torso obliquely toward the right, then the left, now bend the knees. Or to use the vernacular, <laughs> squat. One, two, one, two. Now raise the right leg and kick. Hey, one, Bert. Two, one. Bert! Where's my anchor? Oh, I think it's in here. Here it is. Gee, Myrtle, how do you get all those fellas? It's a gift, I guess. Just a gift. But ain't you scared some of those guys will get wise? Ah, uh, who cares? But that fellow that's coming off the ship today, he wants to marry you. Mm-hmm. That's what makes him different. Well, I wish I had your technique. Where is that phone? Hello? Who? Oh, it's Oscar Hempelmeyer. Oh, him. Well, I guess I might as well talk to him. Just a minute, Mr. Hempelmeyer. Hello, Oscar, you little sweetie. Hi, how are you? Oh, I can't tonight. Oh, I've got such a headache. No, I can't Tuesday. I think I'm going to have another headache. I mean, I probably won't be feeling so good yet. Well, maybe Wednesday. Hmm? Let's go to the Paradise Club. Hmm? What did you say? All right, then. Be stingy. I'll probably have a headache on Wednesday, too. Oh, that must be the rear admiral. Tell him I'll be right out. Listen, honey, I'm a man of a few words, and I believe in getting to the point. Don't you think you're a little too young to get married? A beautiful girl like you can have your pick and choose the men. So why waste your time on an ordinary sailor who, after he gets out of the Navy, won't even have a $30 a month job? Besides, the Navy needs men like Husky. Big, strong, dumb fellas to protect little girls like you. Say, what is this? Who is this guy, anyway? Hey, who's that? That's me. <laughs> I mean, 
She is who you think I am, I guess. What do you want? I want to know which one of you two thinks she's going to marry Husky. Well, maybe I do. What about it? Well, I'm his pal. And I'm not seeing the best sailor in the Pacific fleet tied up to no apron strings for the rest of his life. Does Husky know you're here? No, he don't. Where is he? He's in the brig. That's where he is. Oh, he's in the brig. And you come sneaking around behind his back, butting in and trying to run his affairs. Well, whoever you are, you just wait till Husky hears about this. He'll break every bone in your head. Hey, don't say anything to Husky about this. Don't mention... Well, I... Well, why not? Well, gee whiz, do you want to break up a friendship of years? Well, I like that. What are you trying to do? Oh, well, uh, that's different. Oh, it is. Well, let me tell you something. I don't know what this is all about, but no half-pint second-class seaman's going to come around here interfering with the guy that wants to marry me. So get out of here and get out fast. Before I forget, I'm a lady! <laughs> Oh, nice little girl. Ah! Oh. Husky! Well, Pete! Uh, hey, did you send the telegram? No, uh, I lost the address. I, I had to come myself. Hey, how did you get out? Well, they, gee whiz, Pete, they finally found out it was you that done it. Huh? Yeah. Oh, I tried to tell him. I wanted to take the blame. I guess they finally decided to believe me, huh? Oh, swell, Pete. But they blamed Hardy. Now he's in the brig. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh the, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Pete, huh? did you say you saw Myrtle? Oh, sure. I just told her what a great guy you was. Oh, that's swell, Pete. Say. Ain't she a wonderful girl? Ah, uh, marvelous. Come on, you gotta go back up with me. Ah, uh, no. I, I got a date of my own. That ain't important, Pete. Come on. I want you and Myrtle to know each other better. I want to tell her some of the nice things you've done for me. I can't. Oh, come on, oh, Pete. Yeah, but you I didn't get to know her very well. Uh, Husky, listen. Husky, wait a minute. I got an idea. Well, I'll hide and you surprise her. All right. Come on, help me. Get him in there. Come on, Husky. Oh. Hey, Gert, get some more water. Oh, it's Myrtle. Gosh, you look so beautiful, it must have knocked me out. Oh, Husky, are you all right? Sure. It's fine. I thought you was in the brig. Well, I was, but... Uh... On account of Pete, I got out. He does everything for me. Oh, he does, does he? Well, isn't that just dandy? I was trying to find out what I should give you for a wedding present. Yes, he uh, tried so hard, he almost gave himself away. Oh, speaking of presents, here's a box of candy for you, Myrtle. Oh. And here's a real Chinese parrot I brought you. Oh, thanks a million, honey. Any cute? Can he talk? Can he? Listen, say something. Sounds like he needs a grease job. Oh, he just said hello. In Chinese, probably. I love you. I love you. I love you. I taught him that myself. Oh, I bet he says that to all the girls. Oh, no, he don't. There's only one girl in the world for us. Baloney! 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 Ah! Well, so long. Uh, I gotta be going to get a lot of things to do. Oh, no. We're all gonna have a celebration. You know, we've been just dying for some excitement since we came back off that long cruise. No, no, Husky, I can't. Oh, do come along with us. Sure. And this time, let's do something different. Well, start your explaining, mister. I guess I owe you an apology for barging in like I do, but... I got Husky's interest at heart. Oh, yeah? Your eyes, your hair, your... You're beautiful. What's that got to do with Husky and me getting married? Everything. You ain't no fireside type. <laughs> you can get plenty of guys. You don't need him. Anyways, a guy like me is more your type. Ooh, so that's the way the wind blows. 
just a pal, a dear old hussy. Ah, uh, applesauce. You know what I mean. I'll say I do. Gee, it's a beautiful day, ain't it? Oh, so-so. But then I guess you sailors is used to beautiful days. In the tropics with native girls and everything. Only thing I ever got in the tropics was malaria. Was she nice? Malaria ain't a girl, it's a sickness. Oh, excuse me. I ain't very good at geography. I guess you're pretty anxious to settle down with Husky and cook and sew and have six or seven babies. Hey, hold on. You're living my life for me pretty quick, aren't you, mister? I wish Husky wasn't such a good friend of mine. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. Didn't you ever think about getting married? I didn't, up to now. Tomorrow is Saturday. Could I see you alone in the afternoon? Well, for goodness sake, why? Uh, something important I want to talk to you about. I got a date with Husky. Oh, you'll be married to Husky for a long time. One day off won't hurt. Besides, it's him I want to talk to you about. What about him? Well, something about Husky I think you ought to know. <laughs> Don't tell me there's insanity in his family. I'll talk to you about it tomorrow at 1 o'clock in front of Gordon's drugstore. Suppose Myrtle missed me while I was gone? Oh, sure. Gosh, she's a wonderful girl, ain't she? Sure. What does she want with a fellow like me? You got your Navy insurance, ain't you? Uh-huh. Oh, boy, I bet Pete's got it all fixed for me now. Husky! The boat! Oh, Faber, you drowned! Oh, hurry up and do something! Oh, help me! Oh, help! Faber, you drowned! <laughs> Get up and answer the phone. better if you take off that sleeping mask.
Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, what are you doing with the parrot? Well, I'll tell you. I hope it won't hurt Husky's feelings, but I gotta get rid of him. Why? On account of my landlady. She keeps insisting I got a man in my room. Uh, <laughs> didn't you tell her that it was the parrot? Yeah, but she says that's too good an alibi. Oh. <laughs> so I thought I'd take him over to the pet store and see if I could exchange him for a little dog. I always wanted little dogs. Well, why not? Let's see what they got. Now, uh, what is this you wanted to tell me about Husky? Well, you see, uh, Husky's got a very flighty nature. Is that so? Yeah, does a lot of things without thinking. I remember once in Nagasaki, there was a little geisha girl. Soon as he saw her, he said, marry me. We had to call out the Marines to break up the match. Then again in Vladivostok, when he fell for that Soviet mess. Why, it wasn't five minutes before they had their own five-year plan. If it hadn't been for those two-day divorces over there, he'd still be in Siberia. Well, I'm glad to hear that about Husky. I like a man of experience. Well, I'm telling you, he's impulsive. Why, he's liable to walk out on you the day after the marriage. I doubt that. I think he'd wait at least a week. Quit your kidding. I'm serious. I'm just as serious as you are. Now, come on out with me. What's behind all this? You are. Me? Yep. The minute I saw you, I said to myself, there she is. The girl I've been dreaming about. Allow me! Allow me! <laughs> hey, you shut up. Here's where you get off. Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you, Polly? Come on, come on. Say hello. Oh, look. <laughs> look just like Boston's mate Hardy. <laughs> Huh. He looks just like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's married life for you. I can just see you and Husky doing that. You're too fresh. <laughs> no. Hello there, boy. Hello oh, there. Look. look, there are the puppies. Oh, aren't they darling? Well, look, that's the one I want right there. Would you like to see him? Oh, I'd love to. Oh, isn't he darling? Oh, he's wonderful. I, uh, I wonder if I could trade him for this parrot. Well, I don't know. I never do this kind of business. Oh, but he's a very wonderful parrot. He never stops talking. Let him hear say something. Go ahead, Gabby, say something. He talks so much, I named him Gabby. Say something, darn ya. Betty, I think you make a big mistake. You should call him Spain. <laughs> oh, I'm mad about Dory. <laughs> mad dog! Mad dog! <laughs> what was that? Sounds like mad dog. Mad dog? Mad dog? Mad dog? Mad dog? Okay with me. If you harm a hair of his head, I'll sue you. There's nothing the matter with the parrot. He just talks too much. So do you. Shut up. Now, listen, officer. I can explain everything. You see, I came in here to see if I could trade this parrot for this little dog. Mm. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Mad dog! Mad dog! Mad dog! I'll run the whole bunch of him. Look, lady. Take it apart. Take it, dog. Take it, story, if you want. But please go out before I get crazy. Before everybody gets crazy. Oh, do you really mean it? See, si, with my heart and soul. Please, go. Oh, oh gee, thanks. That's what your pal will do as much for you sometimes. Petey, bring Gabby. Huh? 
Oh, now listen. All right, stupid. Say, where is this mad dog? He's no mad dog. No mad dog? It's somebody's mad. Uh -huh. It's me. I'm not crazy. Uh -huh. Boy, I'm no. not crazy. No, 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 let me go. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I've got to teach that bird to keep still. <laughs> Say, Oscar, goodbye. Gee, we had fun. Yeah, we sure did. I love my little dog. Is that all you love? I love him so much that I'm thinking about naming him Petey Junior. Well, how about uh, you taking Junior and Senior for a walk tomorrow night? Well, maybe. Why don't you drop around and see? Okay. Well, so long. Say, wait a minute. Don't you think that Petey Senior should have a little good night kiss? Now, why doesn't I think of that? Go ahead, Junior. Kiss your papa good night. <laughs> date again tonight, haven't you, Pete? Yep. Hey, Husky, I hate to ask you this, but, uh, I gotta have ten bucks. Gosh sake, I can't understand it. What? Me needing ten bucks? No, no, I can't understand Myrtle. Every time I try to see her now, she's got some new excuse. Ah, uh, forget it. She's probably running around with some heel. Well, I'd like to lay my hands on him. I'd tear him apart. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you ought to be glad you're rid of her. But I don't want to be rid of her. I love her. That's only in the mind. Oh, no. Anyway, there are other things more important than love. What's more important than love? The Navy. Oh. The Navy's all right, but you can't kiss a battleship. Maybe not, but you never heard of a battleship running away with the Iceman or suing for alimony. Yeah, but I'm getting out of the Navy. There's nothing to stop you from re-enlisting. What for? What for? That's a fine patriotic question for an American citizen to ask. Supposing John Paul Jones had asked that. Supposing Edmund Perry had said, what for? Yeah, and Dewey, I forgot about him. Admiral Dewey. Husky Stone, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey. What? I thought we was going to be a great team. Well, we were. You were handling the motors and me the stick. Have you forgot about that? Well, I, I hadn't quite thought about it like that. Well, you better start thinking about it. But gee whiz, a fella's got a right to get married. No, he ain't. Not until he's earned some kind of success. What are you going to do when you get out of the Navy? Oh, I suppose get some high-class job like driving a truck or something. Well, I don't know any millionaire sailors. You don't know any sailors on the relief either. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you're right, Pete. I'll think it over, but I know one thing. What? I'll bet you Admiral Dewey never met a girl like Myrtle. Oh. Hello, Pete. Hello. Uh, hey, how goes the plot? Oh, swell, brother, swell. Husky's beginning to feel red, white, and blue all over again. What about the dame? Oh, I got a little work to do there yet. Oh, a little homework, eh? Hey, what do you mean? You know I'm only doing this for Husky? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll be here any minute now, Junior. Aren't you excited? It's a shame the way you're treating Husky. Oh, he'll get over it. But he wants to marry you. Well, how do you know Pete don't? Has he said anything? Mm, not yet, but he will. You just leave it to Little Myrtle. I don't think Pete's the marrying kind. Oh, you don't. Well, now I'll tell you what you do. When he comes, you go out for a walk. And then in a little while, you come back. But don't ring. Use your key. And I'll show you something. My goodness. 
What are you going to do to him? You'll find out. There he is now. Bring him in. Hi, you folks. Come on, Bill. Come on, Joe. Come on, Henry. Come on, Oscar. Someday I'm going to choke that bird. Well, what's it going to be tonight, little princess? The Waldorf, the Ritz, the penthouse, or the yacht? Well, uh, whatever you say, but, um, First, let's open a bottle of champagne. Great. And don't forget the hors d'oeuvres. Oh, well, Suzette, will you bring in the champagne, please? Huh? Oh, these French maids are so dense. I'll get it myself. Get going, get going. Do you want me to go now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yes, Suzette, you may have the evening off. <laughs> don't forget to come back in a little while. Goodbye. So long. Ah, 1921, my favorite vintage. Does, um, does the light bother your eyes? No. Oh, yeah, guess maybe it does. Much better. Now, tell me all about the Navy. You know, you've got a beautiful neck. What's that got to do with the Navy? Oh, it's a great port in the storm. Well, my ship's got 16 decks and no bottom. The boilers are made of rubber and she burns ice. She's round on the counter and buff in the bow. She draws no water because she don't know how. The scuttlebutt has gold drinking cups, and her keel is greased with butter. Husky's going to give me. Hey, don't you let Husky give you no ring. Do you mean you want to give me one? <laughs> oh, darling, this is so sudden. Congratulations. Oh, Gertie, I'm so happy we're engaged. <laughs> Tomorrow's visitor's day, and I want everything to be ship shape. Now, there are going to be a good many people on board, and I want you men to do everything you can to entertain them. Hardy? Take charge. Aye, aye, sir. All right, you guys. Get busy now. No stalling. Fall out and turn two. 
Come on, Kelly. Get the scrub on that deck. I know it's a shame to spoil your manicure, but the dames will excuse you. Lovely fella. How was the homework? You look kind of down, Pete. Ain't the plot working? Not so good. I guess I turned on a little too much personality. Now I got the dame in my hair. What do you mean? Oh, I pay her a few compliments just to get her away from Husky. Now I got her on my neck. What are you kicking about? If she feels that way about you, she's forgot Husky and he's safe. Sure, that's right. Yeah, but how about me? All you gotta do is keep away from her. Ain't you heard? We're shoving off day after tomorrow for target practice. On the level? Sure. What a break. I hope it's in Little America. Uh, Ixnay, the problem child. Say, uh, Husky, how about taking in the town tonight? So well. But uh, ain't you already got a date for tonight? Yep, but I'm gonna break it, just so you and me can be together. Oh, good. You know, I haven't been off the ship since... How I... much money you got? Twenty bucks. What do we do? I don't care what we do, but remember, no women. No. I tell you, there's something fishy about this. Well, maybe he couldn't get off the ship. Well, he could have sent me word. Well, maybe he's sick. I hope so. Well, don't upset yourself. I'll upset him when I get my hands on him. You know, he don't act exactly right for an engaged man. There he is now, with a perfect alibi. I'll give him a piece of my mind. Say, what's the idea of keeping me waiting around here an hour and a half? Who do you think you are, anyway? Oh, oh hello, Oscar. I, I thought it was my Aunt Minnie. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, sure, I'm glad to hear from you. Yeah, I know, but, but I got an aunt from Chicago, and I had to go out with her. Well? Well, I was gonna go out with her, but I might. All right. I'll be ready in 20 minutes. Okay, I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'll show that fresh sailor. to act as guides to the visitors. Show them the utmost courtesy and do everything possible to make their visit interesting. That's all. All out. We sure had a swell time last night, didn't we? I guess we'd better stay away from what's left of McGinnis's pool room. Being in the Navy ain't so bad, after all. Now you're talking. We got a job to be proud of. We're important people. Think of the millions that are depending on you and me. Why, it's up to us to keep peace all over the world. And while we're doing it, we're guests of Uncle Sam on the greatest sightseeing tour on Earth, and we're getting paid. Yes, sir. And we'll keep peace all over the world, even if we have to kill everybody doing it. You said it. Now that I've learned about women, I might as well sign up for another four years. I wouldn't be surprised if they broke a rule and made you an admiral. You see what I see? Hey, look this way and maybe they won't see us. Then we can duck. But I want to see Myrtle. What? I thought you just said you were through with women. Where's your character? Oh, but Myrtle, maybe she's come aboard to explain. You have anything more to do with her? I'm through with you. Well, well, well. Fancy meeting you two boys here. Isn't this a small world? Hello, Myrtle. Gosh, you look swell. Hello, Gertie. Hello. <laughs> well, oh, boy. What a big ship. Yeah, it'll take a long time to see it all. You better get started looking right now. I know you're just dying to show us around, aren't you, Mr. Kelly? They, uh, they don't allow dogs aboard. Hey, Husky, you better hide them or they'll put her off the ship. Come on, girls, I'll show you around. Lieutenant. Adams, Martin, Stone. The captain has quite a large party of friends coming on board. You three are detailed as special guides for them. <coughs> what was that? A 
It was that same noise again. What was it? Hey, listen, Gertie. Run along and amuse yourself for a few minutes while I talk to this insect. Oh. All right. Well, just exactly where were you last night? Well, I... I couldn't leave Husky last night. He was sick. Oh, he was sick. In McGinnis's pool room, I suppose. Say, how... Oh, oh, never mind. Just don't try to slip anything over on Little Myrtle. I suppose you know what happened there, then. Yes, I do. There was one swell fight, and you two boys started it. I didn't start it. Husky did. So what? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, if you'll keep quiet. What are you talking about, anyway? About Husky being sick. He has fits. Huh? Yeah. Gets attacks. Seizures. Goes nuts. And nobody knows anything about it but me. What are you trying to do? Kid me? Oh, honest. Didn't you notice how pale I got when you made that crack about there being insanity in his family? What's this got to do with you breaking our date? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Well? I knew he was going to have a fit. That's why I had to get him off the ship. I could give him a medical discharge if they knew it. Go on. So I took him to McGinnis's pool room. Off in a good game of pool, snaps him out of it, but didn't do him no good this time. He got an attack and nearly broke up the place. Do you know what I think? What? I think you're the biggest liar in the Navy. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, look at that, then. And it's true. Poor Husky. Yeah, ain't it terrible? It was swell of you to tell me. Oh, that's all right. Don't mention it. But I'm warning you. About what? Don't ever say anything to Husky that'll upset him. For instance, I mean about you and me. All visitors are requested to uh, leave the ship. Yes, that means all visitors are sure. Well, all visitors are requested to leave the ship. Go on. Go long until ship. tomorrow night. All but this time, you be there. All visitors are the ship. All visitors are requested to leave the ship. Don't remember me. I'm Myrtle. You know, the girl you're supposed to be engaged to. Say, what's the matter with you? Uh, I don't feel so good. No, oh, ain't that just too bad? Maybe I'm boring you. I got a lot of things on my mind. Oh, come on, snap on it. Let's see. Cluck dancing with a swell doll. How does that little runt do it? That ain't Pete's girl, she's Husky's. Yeah? And what's Pete doing with her? He's been giving her the rush act, so she'll lay off Husky. You don't tell me. Well, ain't that just ducky? Where are you going? Don't say nothing about what I said. Shut up. How about finishing the dance with your lady friend? Nothing doing. Go on over and sit down, sailor. Sit down yourself. Oh, come on, let me finish the dance with him. Don't fight. Nice guy, that Pete. Oh, he's all right. Yeah, swell. Double-crossing little weasel. Well, what do you mean? I just blame you for a sucker. Me? Sure. He's been giving you the grand rush, ain't he? Well, it's 
supposing he had. <laughs> I guess he told you that he loved you. Why not? Why not? Hey, don't you know it's a gag? What's a gag? Why, he's just trying to bust up you and Husky. Huh? Sure. Didn't you know that big lunk's been stooging for Pete for years? Doing all of his work, fighting all of his fights, lending him all of his money. You don't say. Sure. So you're the no good low down scoundrel that's been hypnotizing my Myrtle. Well, oh! You hit him! Why, you big dumb truck! I never laid my eyes on that fellow before tonight. Oh. Well, I thought he is. Well, he ain't. But I'll tell you who the guy is that's been two timing you. It's your pal, that's who it is. Your pal, Pete. Oh, well, Myrtle, you're crazy. We're both crazy. And do you know why he done it? To keep you in the Navy, to stooge for him for another four years. Look! Look, there he goes now, trying to sneak out on us. Is it true that you and Myrtle have been... Oh, wait a minute, Husky. Calm yourself. I can explain everything. Oh, can't you see he's lying? Can't you see it in his face? We've been together every evening. Oh. Oh! Why, you big ape, you killed him! Take off and proceed with bombing exercises. Destroyed, apparently taking water. Aye, aye, sir. Calling flight commander number one. Calling flight commander number one. Order all planes to cease present exercises immediately until necessary repairs are made on target. Repair party proceeding. Husky. Husky. Mike, won't you please listen to me? Tell you I did it all for your sake. Myrtle wasn't a girl for you. Prove that she wasn't by falling for a mug like me. If you don't shut up, I'm gonna throw you overboard. Gee, I didn't know you'd take it like that, Husky. Have a heart, will you? You two men handle a collision. Matt and lower it as soon as I wrap on the hull. The rest of you men come below with me. All right, pass up that short timber. Come on down with that timber, you guys! Come on down! Come on, hurry up! Watch 
before you get a bomb down your neck. Step on the gas. Let's get out of here. Calling wing commander number one. Calling wing commander number one. Target repairs completed and repair party clear of target. Proceed with bombing exercises. Won't you listen to me, please? For the 86th time. You're disturbing the patient. Would you please go? You'll have to sign this now, Stone. Right there. Yes, sir. What is it, sir? Article for re-enlistment. Oh, Gosh, gee, I didn't know that you felt for the 86th time. Will you please shut up? Here's something for you, Husky. Oh, a present. Dear Mr. Stone, I am herewith returning your parrot. It is not a fit bird for a married woman to have around. Signed, Mrs. Oscar Hempelmeyer. Ha, 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 ha.